And hello world, how y'all doing today? Uh, or again, whenever you happen to be watching this. Uh, I forgot to do the thing, which is to do this. There goes the tweet. Sweet, sweet tweet, tweet tweet, sweet tweet, tweet tweet. Uh, so probably a little shorter stream than normal today because uh, I got a friend who's going to be doing a stream later. So I want to catch up with that. And the thing that I'm going to do right now is set an alarm to make sure that I uh, hit that. So bear with me one second. Do that about there. Should be good. Uh, didn't think about that before the stream. So what I'm going to be doing today is trying to get back into Django. Um, past couple streams, I've messed around with the tutorial a little bit. Found it really frustrating. I was trying to go straight through it, and it just, I don't like the way that tutorial is set up. Um, so I'm going to mess around with it, kind of going back and forth and just burning through it really quick, but without trying to go through it. Uh, I just want to see if I can start making stuff happen um, in a way that the tutorial was not doing. Um, so we're just going to kind of dive right in. The I've got Django installed. Um, uh, and I've got this under Django, so we're going to go here. And uh, I'm just going to take some notes while I do this. So, process notes. Uh, and, you know, I've got a little bit of grounding with the tutorial. Um, but whatever. So, oh, I should create a virtual environment. That's the first thing I want to do. Is it talk about that? Mm, doesn't. Interesting. Thought I did somewhere, but whatever. Uh, so here we go. Uh, oh, there's a virtual environment there. Uh, okay, so we can use that. So let's do this. Make sure you have a virtual Three M B M V V M V is the way that I usually do that. Uh, and make sure you're using it. Source. Mm -hmm. I'm super tired. Let's see if that actually works. Whoops. Yeah, it works. We're in there. Uh, okay. So make a new Django site. So I'm trying to figure out if I actually... Toolkit 1. Because so, I want to actually kind of like make this the actual thing. So I'm just going to call it Toolkit. Uh, that's, that's the goal of what I'm trying to do. I'm not on the command line. So I can do this here. Like, because I can bounce around on this and, and do whatever. Uh, I should be able to move that at some other point, which would be nice. So that starts a project. Here's all the crap that it builds. Python. Oh, do I need to go into, yeah, change in the auto directory. Right, toolkit, and then run that. 18 unapplied migrations. Uh, see, I hate that warning. Um, so let's get rid of that warning. Unapplied migrations, manage run server. I don't care about all, like this is where all the stuff is. It's just like, 
their start polls. Run server, where's the migrations? Ignore warnings about the unapplied migrations for now. We'll deal with the database shortly. Okay, so maybe it's the next page. Run this. to prevent a warning. So let's just get that out of the way. Sweet. So we got a CD in the toolkit. Okay. did. Fine, 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 fine. All right, so now if we run the server, no errors. Check out the site. There we go. You're seeing this page because debug equals true in your settings file and you're not configuring any URLs. Sweet. I guess I should be doing this with all these. Since they're in a list and the codes are code. Uh, check out your new site. Temporary homepage. Cool. See, like, this is kind of this, like, how I would, I wouldn't make it quite this brief, but, like, it would be close to this brief as compared to all, the, like, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here that, like, I don't need to know yet. Um, just get me the going and then walk me through the parts later once I've got something to kind of touch and feel. All right, so there's that. Now, and so the other trick is like, with this tutorial, it doesn't make a home page. It makes this polls page, and on the polls page, there's these two different uh, fields or things, I don't know, that you have to like figure out how to put together. And it's like, let me just make a home page first. Like, I get that all the database stuff is gonna happen, but like, show me how to just make a page to start with. Um, like give me give me a solid win really quickly. Yeah, like all these mod yeah, so it starts with two models right off the bat. And the other trick is when you start doing the database stuff, just start with one. Show me how one works before you show me two and have to do joins. Um so how do we make pages? Uh writing your first view. All right. So this is in polls view. How do I make a home page view? So I think what I need to do is I need I and I think this is how you do this. Let's actually burn through and see if we can verify this. Uh here, where's the next one? Wow, it's long. Oh yeah, it does all this like looking at the database on the command line, like just good lord. Uh, overview, 
Use the type of web page. Writing more views, use homes. Like, how do I make a home page? This is all polls. That's all polls still. That's all polls. Writing first Django app. Polls. 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 Use generic views, less code is better. First Django app part five. Automated testing. I don't mind automated testing. Like that's I'm cool with that. Uh, Feel, polls, background image, CSS. I wonder if this has moved polls to a home page. Um, no idea. Yeah, so I'm just gonna bang around on this a little bit till I figure out how to do stuff. Step forward. So we're just gonna make a new app that we're calling homepage, which I think is the way that you do that. Actually, I might have, from this recent port homepage, smoke tests, Python testing, templates, views, hello world, starting Django, Structure. Ooh, all kinds of notes. Uh, from pages and port views. So we created it about views about pages views. Okay, so let's make a pages. All right, this is at a second page. So about a second page tutorial notes. We have a first page in this one. I think, is this one I tried to make my own tutorial? I may have already done this a little bit. 12 factor, yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot about 12 factor apps. I think these were all notes that I might've taken the first time I went through this tutorial and it really frustrated me then too. Site, read me, ignore, all this stuff looks very familiar. Django structure, migrate. Oh, create the super user. We're gonna need that later. Template. Dirt, yeah. Basic layout. See, I would do this differently now. Build the home page. Here we go. Yeah, so I'm going to make it under pages. Is that? Let's 
just want to look and see if uh, that syntax doesn't look the same for me for some reason. Python manage migrate. Models, wait a minute, where is... Pulls. Python manager on server. Python manager. Yeah, start at pulls. Okay, so that's right. For some reason, it just this looked different. Static pages right now, they're not really gonna be static, but you get the idea. Uh, here, let's quit out of that. Whoops, yeah, I was right. So there's pages, add pages to the installed steps and settings.py. At some point, we're gonna want that open. And see if we see a sidebar. Wait a minute. Gotcha. So we should clarify this, which we'll do in a second. That's in uh, that'll be fine. Uh. Pages. All right. Now we're gonna run server. Just make sure it didn't bust anything. It ran. Cool. See, I'm kind of thinking about that, and I'll go back and maybe add some more of this kind of stuff in there too. Um, I'm just thinking about this from somebody who's like new to this, um, new to Django, but then also maybe newer to programming. Because if you're not new to programming, you can burn through this and it's just showing you the commands too and like seeing things like, oh, control C to stop, whatever. Okay, fine, yeah, I get it. Um, but like, Firing up the server after messing with the settings gives you an opportunity. Like you've only made really one change. And like, this is one of those changes where people could mess something up without really knowing it. Um, so it's worth, it's probably worth doing it there. We'll see if, if we want to do it maybe another step later, but um, let's see. So in structure URLs, 
import the views from pages. Note that you aren't doing from dot import views because everything else will be included explicitly when you make other calls, I think. Um, okay, I'm just gonna walk through this and see how these, like, let's see how these goes. And so it's gonna be toolkit URLs for me. Um, Toolkit URLs. Ah, see, here's where I could have improved. Import views from pages. In the toolkit urls.py file, add the import statement. See explicitly what's going on there, which is one of my other problems with the other Django tutorial. Um, it's not really at the top of the file. Um, well, that's fine. You can find those lines and then turn them into that. So that's as explicit as you can make that. Or you can make it more explicit. We could copy the whole file and do it, but that's maybe a little much. Um, add the URL route in structures URL. So uh, that could be the same. Oops. Oh, I was gonna put that in here. Yeah, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna add some details here on what this stuff does. But like, I don't have a good idea of it yet. Just having gone through the tutorial. So like some of it, I'll have to kind of go down a little bit. Um, and then like, there's some things that's basically like, uh, you know, We'll get into regular expressions later, but this just means the root of the site, which is the site address. Uh, I'll have to define root a little bit better for people. Whatever, it's fine. Um, Yeah. So we'll do that. We'll do that. 
uh, TK just is like something search for it says to come to come back here later. Um, now I actually want to put that in and let me just make sure that this hasn't changed since 2017 when I first did this. Uh, so I'm just going to copy paste. Ah, it has changed. So that did a regular expression. Or it used to have in the nodes to do a regular expression there. I'm pretty sure that's what the R is. And now it doesn't. How do they want you to get... So this is the trick, right? How do they want you to get to the start of the homepage? Uh, that's wrong. So what am I gonna look for? Um, I kinda wish, is there a download of this whole thing? You're here getting started, fact. Download. Uh, do I want HTML or PDF? Is it one big HTML file? That would be awesome. Doesn't look like it. A whole bunch of stuff. Uh, we're gonna get the PDF too. Ooh, I was gonna download it, but I'm still gonna download it. How do we download it? Save. Whoops, there we go. Downloads. Django docs three. This uh, this isn't looking good. Oh, it's the full documentation. How to guy? Oh, this is actually nice. I didn't know all this stuff existed. Authentication, using remote user, writing custom ads, API reference. This is nice. I'm sure all this stuff is in the web too. I just didn't see uh, didn't see it. It's weird though. Oh yeah, 1,900. That's a lot of pages. That's a lot of docs. Nice. Uh, so find URL patterns. Because that's what we want to get to. Ooh, it's going to take a turn for a minute. So I just want to find something that shows me like where they're setting the home page. Here we go. Views index. Path nothing. I oh, know, but that's the path for uh, the index page for polls. If I understand the way the stuff works. URL patterns, polls, admin. Yeah, so we still don't have a home page here. Uh, URL patterns. URL patterns. Here we go. So is this in. No, see, this is still in polls URLs. So this index is not the home page. Same thing. Still not there. We're on page 37 and haven't made a homepage yet. Uh, page 47, haven't made a homepage yet. Did they not tell you how to make a homepage? That's crazy. That has to be like...
blog, snip community, whatever, main views homepage. Page two or page one ninety seven is the first time seen reference to homepage. At any point, URL patterns can include other URL conf modules. This essentially roots a set of URLs below the other ones. For example, here's an example of conf from the Django website itself. It includes a number of other comps. Whenever Django encounters include, it chops off part of the URL, sends it straight, right. Another possibility is to include additional URL patterns by using a list of path instances. For example, consider the following. And this slash credit slash reports will be handled by credit views reports. Django view. I don't, I don't know how it made that jump. Extra. Oh, extra patterns. So credit include extra patterns, which is up here. goes to credit fees reports. Okay, I gotcha. But so this is what I think we want for the homepage. Yeah, and so it's not doing a regular expression there. It's just doing uh, quotes. So I'm gonna update my notes. So I'm going to run through all this and we'll see if we can get it to work. Also in two kit URLs add. Yeah, so. Oh, actually, I might not need to do that, right? Because. this into this. Uh, wrap. So should we call it main views? Instead of pages? No, pages. It's page. It's the home page. All right. So we can drop that. Whatever. I'll go through an out dance later. Let's see if this is going to work. Uh, get rid of this. Update pages views and add the call this. Actually, can you return? I don't mind returning a 
hello world as a piece of text. Right, so we can do this. Pages, views. Oh my god, it starts with render. This is a document. I just made this project or this site. And I'm in I'm in pages views, right? Pages views, which is the same thing as pulls views. Like I just made this app or this yeah, app. And they back you off into that. But then somewhere down here they flip you back to render. A shortcut, render, Django, see? That's what it starts with. They make you take it away and then put it back. That's not... Oh, not so. Return, render request, pulls, index, HTML, okay. Render request. So, is there a way? Because that would be. Is there a way to do a hello world inside the render? Probably not. HTTP response. Hmm. See, I don't want to do that then. Like, that's putting stuff in and then taking it back away. Like, it's not... I'd, I'd like to be able to get to a hello world right here, but I'd rather do it... Even though this is going to take an extra step, I'd rather do it that way like and not have to backtrack. Like start with a shortcut, then later you can go back and tell me how the thing actually works. Template render HTTP response. A shortcut render. It's very common to idiom to load a template Fill in the context and return an HTTP response object with the results of the render template. Django provides a, provides a shortcut. All right, so let's just see if this old code works. Actually, here I'm gonna fire up the server, maybe, just to see if it boots. Nope, main views is not defined. Okay. Uh, that was in. See, this is the other trick, right? Pages. Is I really should have been going through this one step at a time, which I kind of just did. Actually, I just realized. Oops, Not too many. Does that come back to life? Pages is not defined. Oh, I didn't make the app pages, I guess. Wait a minute, yeah, I did. Let me 
we gotta import it somewhere? Probably. I made it. I'm calling installed app from pages import views. it's gonna and I'd rather fight through this than try and fight through their other tutorial which is hysterical to me uh, all right so let's back out to where we know we're green as if we had tests let's just pretend we have tests where am I going right here can you comment this will that be okay URL patterns. Pages is not defined. Okay. There it is. From pages import views. Alright. From pages import views. Alright, let's see how they did it. Uh Pulls, 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 pulls. Oh, so they're kicking to, in the polls URL file, include the following click code. I don't want to do it that way, though. Hmm. <laughs> Name pages is not defined. So we're here from pages. Pictures here. Import views. Still on find. I've got pages here. Right, because that's where we do I guess we do install apps on the next page. Not installed app setting top of the file. It holds the names of all Django apps. So there's that stuff. Don't migrate. There you go. Installed apps. Oh, pulls apps. Wait, what? To include the app in our project, we need to add a reference to its configuration class in the installed apps. The polls config class is in polls apps py. Okay. That changed. That's cool. I should have fired up the server then. Actually, it didn't. I did. It just didn't hit the thing. Uh, so it's going to be pages. I'm guessing. Probably pages. I could go look, but I'm just gonna go off their naming convention and see pages is not defined. Oh wait. Path pages home page. 
pages is not defined. Right, okay, that's what we're working on. Uh, where's our URLs again? Just to make sure this comes back to life. Yep, okay. So that's still our error. This import stuff has changed. It's fine, but whatever. I don't have to make a migration in order to get it in, do you? Uh, what was... let's find... Pages... apps... Pages config. Did I get that right? Just install that. Pages config. Oh, you know what? Let's try this. Crap. I was hoping it was cached somehow and that would reset it, but it did not. And it's not giving us a warning about migrations, right? No? Okay. Hmm. All right. Backing up. Oops. All right, we're gonna walk through theirs just step by step. Or just like quick step by step, I don't know. So we're gonna get rid of this. Where do you go? In URLs. All right, so it should be green. We're green. Do that. Uh, what do we want to call this? Because there's stuff that I actually want to do. Um, I don't know if it's dashes or... Underscores, it's probably underscores. Stream ideas. All right, so we started that. Yeah, we made all this stuff. Directory structure. Yep. All right, we'll actually just try this. So in views for stream ideas, views. That. URLs. Uh, I wonder if you got to do the URLs. Doesn't seem like you should have to. Hey, do the stream ideas. Where's URLs? There is no URLs. site URLs. Oh wait, hang on a second. So that's toolkit URLs. Wait a minute. Django URLs. Well, but mm, crap. I'm gonna run this again. Just 
still live? Still live. So how did it get to Oh, I'm doing an include from pages import views. second and see what happens uh, what do we call it pages which doesn't exist so this is gonna break right no module name pages URLs okay might be onto something here Let's go. See, the funny thing is, may not be like the right way to do a um. Oops, I wanted that untitled. Whatever. Import path URL patterns that views index. Name is index. Uh, okay, we'll leave that for now. So we want to go up, and then we want to go back into pages. We want to call this URLs. Uh, we're gonna go here and see if we're alive. Oh. Pages views has no attribute index. Okay. Gotcha. Um, so they must have created a view first, right? I just want to see if I understand where we are. Where we are. Uh, URLs, there's the view. Okay, cool. So we're going to do this. Views. I'm going to leave. I'm going to just do the hello world for a minute. Oops. Oh, I was alive. Let's see what happens. Hello world. Hey, we made a home page. Actually, it wasn't awful, but like, I would like to make a home page. Uh, Okay, so now just need to walk through the process of doing that, but let me see. If there's a way, Django URLs straight to HTML template. URL patterns, generic. Yes, here's some, that's from 2010, 2012, though. Temple views, yeah, I don't know what any of this means. Not yet. Um, oh, I hope that wasn't slashy. Uh, whatever, I was gonna see if there was a way to use render to get to this, but that's okay. Um, Shortcut to render. There we go. Um, oh, yeah. Where do you do the templates? Yeah, 
Yeah. Okay. So. I'm going to build this out and then go back and do the notes because I'm going to blow it away and start from scratch after throwing all this stuff back in there. Um, Does this work with, uh... huh, it does. I don't know if it would do. I made that PWC thing to copy paths and just added files to it recently. And I didn't know if it would actually get continuation files, not just files in the same directory. It does, excuse me. That's pretty sweet. And these are just my draft notes. What I should have done a second ago is... Which files do we do? All right, that one's gonna go. Actually, we don't need to do that yet. So, yeah, and we're adding all this stuff. Like, just give me a hello world. And then walk me through as you add all this stuff. Just That's just a lot of code to throw. Hello world. Don't even care that it's not an HTML document for real. So where was render? Shortcut render. So this is gonna be views. We don't need the model. We're gonna get rid of this for now. Render request context. I don't know if we need context. Wait, we don't have context, so that got set there. Oh, he's not running. No idea if this is actually gonna work. What would help is to be in the right directory. Nothing exploded. Template does not exist at slash. Okay. Pages. So we got to get the template included. Where do we do that? Uh, templates. from dot import views. Did we already do that in here? We did. Name index. Hmm, we'll play with that in a minute. There's all the crazy views. Views. Templates. Why did that work? T -E M P L A T E S, right? T -E M P L A T E S. Oh, oh, oh! You gotta have another directory in there. Uh, templates, pages, right? Polls, templates, polls, index. Gotcha. Uh. uh. Where's Django? 
Django. Actually, can you move that in Sublime Text? Uh, does this work? Nope, I didn't think so. Can you rename and put, nope, I'm gonna name, it. well, yeah, let's try it. Does that could work? Ha! I'm kind of surprised that worked. Hello world. Okay, so that's how we make a homepage. It's a bunch of steps, but I've got some idea now of how, like I can explain how templates work a little bit and how the render works and like all that other stuff before you get into all the database stuff and like baby steps. Uh, I should have cut this open. Okay, so Uh, okay, we're gonna make a new app. So that's one of the great things about this stuff, right? Is we can just keep going. Uh, go into Django. And we're just gonna start at the top. Oh yeah, source. Get that going. Uh, what do we wanna call this? Sandbox. We go into Sandbox. Go into Sandbox. We want our migration. Run our server, make sure everything's alive. Ooh, this port's already in use. Aha, let's make that not happen. I don't know if I want to put error messages in there yet. Because it's. Yeah, what would be ideal on this is to do kind of like a collaborative wiki type thing where it's like for every single one of these steps, you would say, if you have issues, click here and then slowly but surely build out the stuff that people run into. Because um, like I would never have thought about that, but if somebody is messing with it, it's like, oh, yeah running on the same port because I've got two servers running. Uh, so we're going to do this. By this, I mean this. Should see that. Yep, cool. All right, now we're going to make our pages. straight back it's like sometimes I you know hey do I expect to see something um, okay now here is where the order gets interesting uh, so one this is wrong quick to make sure sure is alive uh, so I need to have another window um, actually what I'm gonna do is open this in another editor um, hey sublime text 2 how are you uh, here here Oh, sorry, the font's really small over there. Sandbox settings. We're gonna put in this. Oops. We're gonna run our server again, just make sure it runs. It do. Right. 
Right, so we didn't actually need to do this, I don't think. Right? Because this was in, it's going to be sandbox URLs as compared to toolkit URLs. Let's get to here for a second. Yeah, we didn't need to put that in. Okay. So nuke that. And this was wrong because pages didn't exist. So this is where we got to put these things in the right order. Um, so pages, okay, so we need to make a pages URLs first. Cause I want to do this in a way that like, you can keep the server running. Oh, that's actually a good idea. Just keep it running and make sure it doesn't explode. Because, uh, like, I think. Where am I going? Here. Like. Oh, okay, hang on. We need to do this. Windows are all over the place. Alright, so we've got pages and installed apps. Actually, don't do Control C to stop. Don't do that. New toolkit, migrate, run server. We'll leave the server. Leave the server up and running. Throughout this process to make sure it doesn't choke, whatever. I'll add more notes in there. Um, whatever. So look at that. We've made our new thing. Where's our migrate? Okay, we did our migrate, we run our server. We're looking at it. You don't see anything, it just brings you back. So this is in settings. So this is in URLs. Right, because when we first come in here, this is what it defaults to. But we want to have this. Did I do the whole thing? Yeah. And so again, server seems to be okay. I'm going to put the server down here. I'll let you know if it chokes, but I want to be able to watch it. But you need to see the full screen, whatever. Keep the text as possible, big as possible. Uh, okay. So we got that. This is the wrong one. But before, I think before we add the include call here, we need to make our pages URLs. Right, also let me do this.
We did that. Whoops. Come here. So what I want to check is I expect this is going to break. It broke. So there's the error, which is basically saying no pages URLs found. Um, so we're going to back that out. And we're going to make pages URLs pi with pages URLs. I wonder if this is going to break. Uh, we'll find out. pages URLs pi oh wait the error didn't clear oh weird it didn't catch it when I took it out um, So you can make pi, okay, so you can make that, but I think, I still think it's gonna freak, because it's gonna call views index, which doesn't exist here. Right, so we need to do, okay, uh, let me run the steps as I think they're going to be here. Um, make the template, make the view, make the pages URL, call the pages URL. All right, uh, I've got to run. But this will be a good place to pick back up uh, next time as we're working on this. Um, yeah, because I think I think this is a good shape, and like I'm, I'm cool with spending the time. Like I would much rather spend my time making this than trying to go through that other tutorial. Like, and I want to get this as step by step as possible with never breaking the server and getting you the, as fast as possible to seeing something on the home page, which it takes a bunch of steps. I'll see if I can refine those down, but it may not, that may not be the case, but I, I don't want to do that thing that they did where, and I, I could kind of argue this either way, where you go through and, um, and flip out to not doing the render, uh, and doing the, the other, hello world call actually i may do that because you could just put in the code and take it out but you don't have to reduce remove the render stuff um yeah so i may i may do that i i, I think i'm okay with that because again i want to get to as fast as possible seeing something show um and that's what i think we can do so that'll do it for now uh i'll catch you next time uh y'all have a good one and be kind <laughs>